Financial planning at an early age is an important step towards building a strong financial foundation for the future. Let's check out each step in financial planning. Listen each point very carefully as these will help you to get financial freedom. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Money is a very important thing, so it is important to never take it lightly or for granted. Financial planning in early ages will save you a lot of time, money, and stress. If you are rich, the way people treat you will change. First important thing to consider is emergency funds. Have an emergency fund which can save you in unplanned disasters and expenses. This will help you in situations like COVID lockdown. An emergency fund is a savings account that is set aside for unexpected expenses, such as medical bills or car repairs. It's important to start building an emergency fund as soon as possible, so that you have a financial cushion to fall back on if you face any unexpected expenses. Aim to save at least 3 to 6 months worth of expenses in your emergency fund. Second one is having life and health insurance. Life and health insurance are important protections for you and your loved ones. Consider purchasing a life insurance policy to provide financial security for your family in the event of your unexpected death and a health insurance policy to protect you and your family against the high costs of medical care. Next is monthly savings. It's important to set aside a portion of your income for savings each month. This can help you build an emergency fund, save for short-term and long-term goals, and prepare for unexpected expenses. Consider setting up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings account so that you can save consistently without having to think about it. There are plenty of monthly SIP plans out there to choose. A monthly SIP of 10 to 15,000 can make you millionaire by the age of 40. Then comes multiple sources of income. Never depend on single source of income. Having multiple sources of income can help you increase your overall income and improve your financial stability. Consider taking on a part-time job or freelance work in addition to your full-time job or starting a side business to generate additional income. Consider reducing unwanted expenses. To save more money each month, it's important to identify areas where you may be overspending and make adjustments to your spending habits. Look for ways to cut unnecessary expenses, such as cancelling subscriptions or memberships that you don't use, and negotiate with service providers to reduce your bills. If you really want to make money, do not purchase costly items like car, gadgets and even home by taking loan instead use that money to compound. Once you feel financially free, then you can enjoy these luxuries with peace of mind. Next one is compounding money. Compound interest is the interest that you earn on your savings as well as the interest that those savings earn over time. By starting to save and invest at an early age, you can take advantage of the power of compound interest to help your money grow over time. Seventh one is investing in stocks or mutual funds. Investing in stocks or mutual funds can be a good way to grow your wealth over the long term. While there are risks involved, investing in a diverse portfolio of stocks can help you achieve higher returns than you might earn from saving in a traditional savings account. Be sure to research and understand the risks and rewards of investing in stocks before you begin. Investing in index fund will be a less risk investment with good returns. Another one is investing in a business real estate. Starting a small business can be a good way to generate additional income and build wealth. Consider your interests and skills and think about what type of business you might be able to start. Be sure to research the market and create a business plan before you begin. Investing in real estate can be a potentially lucrative way to generate income and build wealth. 
real estate investments can take many forms, such as purchasing rental properties, flipping houses, or investing in commercial properties. Last one is saving for retirement. It's never too early to start saving for retirement. Consider setting up a retirement account and start contributing to it regularly. The earlier you start saving, the more time you have to take advantage of compound interest, which can help your savings grow over time. I am repeating again that financial planning should not be taken for granted, or you may regret it in your older age. Keep review your financial plan regularly to improve it further. Hope you liked content of this video. Please do like and comment your suggestions below. Let's meet in next interesting video.